This is a basic escort position. Police officers use it, we use it in security situations. It's not really a pain compliance hold. It's a hold where he's not resisting much right now and we're just going to take him out. And we put a little pain here on the arm and a little pressure on the elbow using the same principles to make him want to sort of go where we want him to go. But again, we don't have a lot of pain and it's for a person that not resisting yet. But from here, there may be a situation where he starts to resist and we need to go to the next higher level. We're going to take our hand and we're, I'm sort of using my arm and it's, you notice how my elbow is sort of coming out this side a little, not all the way out, but his elbow is pointed back here toward the wall. And remember, I want to get it where it's pointed up so pressure down creates the arm bar. To help with that, I'm going to shoot my arm under and help roll him. See how I roll him with my arm? Okay, sort of have this motion going, elbow, roll it over. And that will get that in the position where the pressure straight down will drive him to the floor. So as you're escorting him, and for whatever reason you determine you need to take him down, this hand starts to pull, straightening the arm. This comes up and you get that roll, and then step to get all your weight into it, slamming him to the ground, and then you can finish just like we have been finishing earlier. So one more time, we're escorting, walking, he starts to resist and immediately when I feel that resistance, I have to do something, otherwise he's going to get loose, it's going to be too late. So we have to, immediately he starts to resist, roll up, put him down, and we're right into the technique. So that's how you go from a minimal hold to something a little bit more powerful and slam him to the ground and then you can go from there of what you need to do. Law enforcement you put on the handcuffs. Security, maybe you get your other person or control him to where you can then stand up and attempt to take him outside again. I'd like to show you a little different footwork. Remember how we can go forward or reverse spin to put someone down. From this escort position, what we just did a minute ago is we rolled this up and we slammed him straight forward. A way to get a little extra power is to get a reverse spin and get that circular force driving him down. So as I use my arm, rotate that up, instead of going forward, I'm going to back up with this foot and this arm is pulling toward this hip and keeping him in this circular motion to put him down right here. And then again, we can still finish. So I had him here, we're walking, he starts to struggle, I go straight into it, back up. Notice how I'm lowering my weight. You never stand with your legs all straight bent over. I lowered my weight to get down, the pressure on his arm, and then I'm immediately into a pin position. Have a wrist lock if I need it, we still have an elbow lock. The key on this is pulling his hand down and stepping in that circle and get the spin going down. So you're controlling, he starts to fight, and you're right there in control. The technique you just learned is great for when you need to come up and stop something that's already going on, especially if you can enter from the rear or the side. This guy is messing with somebody over here, and I need him to stop messing with that person. So I'm coming up from the rear. You're going to grab, just like the escort position, and immediately as you're pulling, you can go into that. So sometimes you won't even do this grab. Sometimes you'll just come up immediately, shoot that elbow, and get that roll going. Notice how I'm pulling it to the hip pulling him away from the problem where he was at. That person that he was messing with, pulling him away. Maybe that's all I need to do. And remember we know ways then that we can control him, block out the knee like you learned earlier. And maybe just keep him here and say, hey buddy, calm down. Let's, let's, let's walk it off. And maybe I let him up and we walk off. If it was more serious and I needed to put him down, we come up and we grab the same way, reverse pivot, and we put him to the ground. And then we tell him, to knock off what he was doing. So again, we have the different levels of force. 
and coming up here and using that elbow to keep him out of the situation. Perfect joint, perfect technique to pull him away from where he was, either control him or put him on the ground.